Okay, let's talk about how we do a course substitution for um, ESRM. So what you're going to want to do is just uh, log into MyCI, go to your CI records, and you'll see this typical uh, screen. What you want to do is hit the Advisor Center, and then you're going to say View Data for Other Students. So in this case, um, I'm going to use an example of a student I need to fill out one for, so I'm going to do type in their uh, student ID number, which is the easiest way. In theory, you can also put in first and last name, but oftentimes there's several. Uh, it, it's not uncommon that I have many students that uh, uh, have the same name as another student. And so anyway, so the, the student ID is just the simplest, straightforward way. I just ask all the students to, when we're doing this process to please give me your student ID number. And then there's no um, confusion as to who we're talking about hit the search function, you'll get the student's record. Then you come down here to this pull down and if you want to, if they're just coming in to meet with you and you want to have a, um, a look at their progress to graduation, you could use that. That's going to show you reds for things that are not completed, yellows for sections of their uh, uh, graduation requirement that they're currently enrolled in, a course that they're currently enrolled in but don't have a final grade, and then greens for uh, elements that are completed. Now, for anything that's a general GE request, a GE uh, uh, or, or Golden 4 or American Institutions, any of those types of things, those substitutions are always handled by advising. For anything having to do with a major, though, major or minor, we take care of that. And so if you need to do a course substitution, you can do advisor request, hit that, smack that dude, and then you just hit this uh, create new request. It's going to come up here. You're going to do the pull down. You're going to want to go to ESRM course substitution. It'll think for a second. And now we're good to go. So for this place, all I need to do is say CI requirement is, um, uh, let's see, ESRM 462, let's say. Uh, and then how many units it is, four units. The course that we're substituting um, it, um, uh, oh, the, the course they're using to substitute the, uh, to meet that requirement, and the institution uh, is probably CSUCI in this case, and the units. How many units? This is four units, and then what? I, and then if it's a single class, you can do that. If it's a couple classes, um, I will enter the first one here, and then for the other ones, I will do. Um, I will say, I will retype that and then say also substituting blah, blah, blah for blah, blah, blah. The most common one is, uh, for example, during the year when we could not offer field methods, for example, field methods was a, is a four unit class, very common one. This only allows you to submit one class in each of these uh, rows. So I would do the first part of that, say the, the field methods um, was the requirement. We're substituting this class, but we need that, that class is perhaps three units. They need to have four units. So down here, I'd, I would retype this out and say we're substituting, you know, uh, the three unit class for the four unit class, plus the three unit class plus a one unit class, typically something like field professionalism. Um, and so, so I'll, I'll oftentimes retype that out. I'll usually help them by saying what semester they took the class in, etc. Uh, once that's, and I'll just say here, for example, um, please. And then uh, then you'll just say uh, submit and you come up here and you hit apply and you'll see this populate down here and then we're good to go and then you just say okay and then you're gonna see uh, a list of other things that are um, previous uh, forms that they submitted who submitted it in this case this is our ESRM advisor or me and right now this one says in basket whenever it's been um, uh, acted upon or modified, you can come back here, click on this, and actually see 
uh, see the status of this and if it was rejected, why it was rejected. If it was accepted, it was accepted. And then again, on that car report, that, that requirement, which say might be a red before the core substitution, once it's been approved, should convert to a green. And so that's, that's too much work for you to do that, but I always encourage our students to go online after about four or five days or so, a week or so after we filled this out, and uh, make sure that it's been done uh, uh, the start of the semester. Sometimes they're really busy, but and the very, very end of the semester, sometimes they're busy, but generally speaking, they're able to get to it within a few days. And so so within five, six, seven days, that, that's, that should be plenty of time for uh, the, the folks in the registrar's office to actually do the submission. And there you go, and that's it.